Hey, what's going on? So on this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about Notion and how it compares to other apps in the same space, at least in regards to note-taking. And probably one of the biggest differences between Notion and the other note-taking apps in the space is the structure. I mean, apps like Evernote and Drafts and Bear, anything in that category, the notes are structured in just like a timeline view, you know? The note at the top is the note you created most recently. And the further you scroll down, well, those are older notes. So the newest notes are at the top, the oldest notes are at the bottom. You, of course, could change the filter to show you notes in alphabetical order based on their titles. You know, you could order them by tags. You can do all that stuff. But at the core of those note-taking apps, whether it's a project, a folder, a notebook, a tag, whatever you want to call it, those notes are just in a single list. But in Notion, however, that is not the case. Your notes are arranged pretty much like a file structure you'd expect on an operating system like Mac, Windows, or Linux with some added benefits of obviously being able to mix different types of blocks within the same page. But aside from that, your notes are pretty much indented infinitely as much as you want or as little as you want. And that type of file structure really gives you a lot of freedom. It pretty much could replicate your brain, how you think. You know, there are things in different categories. Sometimes things need subfolders. Sometimes things need sub subfolders. Sometimes things just need to be in a simple list. It really depends on what your needs are for a given project or area in your life. But even though apps like Evernote have things like stacks and notebooks, when you open up that notebook, you still just see a list of notes inside that notebook. Inside of Notion, you could have it like that, or you could have it completely different. It's really up to you. You could have a table, and then you could have some pages, and you could have some bookmarks. But inside of Notion, it's not quite the same thing. You have a lot more options, a lot more flexibility, a lot more freedom to organize your notes in a way that makes sense for you. You, of course, could have things just in a list like you do in Evernote, or you could have things mixed with other types of content. You could have embeds, databases, and to-do lists all on the same page. Or you could just have a list of notes like you see in Evernote. It's really up to you, but you have the option at the very least. Whereas inside apps like Evernote, you don't have that flexibility. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this at all is because I was actually using drafts today to log some ideas. And I was thinking about how I really don't mind how it's just one list of notes like it is in Evernote. And I thought it was funny because I'm a pretty avid user of Notion, as you know, and I'm, I hate on Evernote a lot nowadays. And so I was like, well, what, what's the difference? Why am I enjoying this experience inside of drafts, but I wasn't enjoying it inside of Evernote? And I think the main distinction is because I'm separating my content into multiple apps now. I'm using drafts for ideas, unfinished things, logs that I have to put somewhere else. I'm essentially using drafts as like an advanced inbox instead of using something like Todoist or any other Todoist app that would just clutter out my inbox. And that's pretty much what was happening over the last five or so years of my life. And now I'm kind of putting that to an end. Whereas inside of Notion, I'm using Notion primarily for projects and resources and information and basically overall knowledge. And that didn't really work in Evernote or apps that had that Evernote type structure and interface. So with all this being said, I have two questions for you. The first question is, do you find yourself enjoying certain aspects of apps like Evernote or Bear or Drafts, but also enjoying things like Notion that have more flexibility. And my second question for you is, do you think it's okay or safe to put everything into one app like Notion, or do you think it might actually be a good idea to have two or three different apps to separate your data, to have an interface and UI that works better for that information? So especially for those apps where you don't have that flexibility to change those interface designs. And let's face it, with most apps, you really can't do that. Either way, let me know what you think in the comments below to those two questions that I asked. And feel free to reach me on Twitter. I'm always there to hang out, chat, answer your questions, and feel free to submit some app ideas for me to check out, whether it's on this channel, my main channel. And yeah, let me know what you think. I'm really curious to see if you guys think I'm crazy or if you think this makes sense at all. I'm trying to make sense, uh, I'm doing my best. But yeah, let me know what you think and I will see you in another video. Take care of yourself and get some sleep.